What's up, YouTube? It's Taboo Trinity again. I'm trying to get this lighting together because I'm too lazy to try to move someplace else. And I realize I'm a dark skinned motherfucker, so I don't want to hear no smart ass shit. Like, damn, nigga, we can't even see you. You so black. I know that, nigga. I know this shit. That's why I'm trying to adjust this motherfucking light. So don't fuck with me right now. <laughs> okay? Is that close enough? Can you see? Can you see? I don't need to have my damn face right up in the light trying to burn my skin off and shit. But I think you get the point. Anyway, <clears throat> this next video, we going to entitle No Homo is Homo. And I'm sure somebody has probably already touched on this. So I'm just going to... Uh, talk about it a little bit further. Put my own twist on it. These niggas with this no homo shit. First of all, when y'all gonna stop saying this shit? It's old. Stop saying this shit. Second of all, no homo. Sound like some real homo type shit. Really. There's no reason... For you to be like, oh, sh dude, I mean, he look good, though. No homo, though. No homo. If you're not gay. Yes, I realize there is a large gay population, especially where I live, coming out of the woodwork. But when did it become such a homosexual thing to be able to compliment another human being without somebody assuming that you want that ass? Like... Women compliment each other all the time, straight, gay, whatever. There's no harm in being able to acknowledge that somebody else is attractive or talented or whatever and being able to say so without them thinking, nigga, you want my dick or something? You know, like some crazy shit. Like, I see a lot of guys who do this one. The shit pisses me off. It really pisses me off. So this goes out to my gay dudes, for real, because I feel your pain on this one. Because it's some ridiculous ass shit. Why do guys have to see you doing your thing? And I know some of y'all are flamboyant, and you like, yeah, girl, why, why? Yeah, you already know. <laughs> All that other shit. You know how y'all do. Don't, don't act. Don't do me. You know how y'all motherfuckers can act. Y'all can be real colorful and animated. But my whole thing is. If you got a problem with what they're doing, turn your head. Go the other direction. Walk away. And I can understand how that can be a little annoying because some of them really are extreme with it. But I think that's more so that individual wanting attention more so than gay people in general being like that. That's that one particular person acting like that. Not all gay guys act, gay guys act like that. Just like not all uh, AGs or doms or studs or whatever you want to call them think that they're men. It's just particular ones. Don't generalize all of them. Might be that particular one that you saw who was a little overboard. And that might bother you. Okay. But I've also seen other feminine gay guys who might uh, dress feminine or who are cross-dressers or whatever the case is, and the men will get dead-ass motherfucking angry. I mean, angry like this dude just walked over and grabbed your nuts and was like, hey, how you doing? Can I suck that for you? Like, these guys be so infuriated by the sight of a gay man. Why? No one finds that peculiar? Am I the only one who noticed that there's something a little strange about that? What the fuck are you so upset about? I've been in places and I'll see a guy might be sitting in the same vicinity as a gay guy. The gay guy might just be looking around and happen to make eye contact with him briefly. And the supposedly because it seems some real suspect shit. Supposedly, straight man be like, don't fucking look at me, you fucking faggot. Why are you so upset? What are you getting so upset? I mean, dude was just looking around, minding his own business. You act like he looked at you and was like, you act like he just, 
I'm wilding y'all. I just slipped into regime. You got to forgive me. Oh, for all of y'all who don't know, I have multiple personality disorder, just to let y'all know. So I got about, you know, like seven or nine characters. So I might just slip in a character momentarily from time to time. That was regime that just came out, y'all. I got a little feminine. But fuck it, I'm a girl. I don't care. I can do what the fuck I want. Anyway, uh, yeah, you act like he just took a finger and slipped it up your ass without your permission. Really? Or I'll see you guys. Hey, but this is the catcher, though. They'll talk mad shit about that fucking gay guy. Faggot. Whatever they want to call him. Sugar boy. Then as soon as that guy walks away, look at that nigga. See if he don't catch a glance. Dude be over there like this. Fucking faggot. Were you just checking out his ass? Did I just see you sneak a peek at his ass, nigga? You ain't slick. I saw that shit. But be talking hella fine shit. I don't get it. This is no homo. It's real homo. If you are a man who is confident with who you are, and I know men like this, they associate with gay guys, hang out with them, whatever, whatever, whatever. What is with this whole guilty by association type bullshit? I had a conversation with a friend a while back, and um, I was telling her how it really pisses me off how people act like if they talk to me, they must be gay, or if they hang out with me, they must be gay. Why is it to be assumed that because you're associated with a gay person that you're automatically gay? I'm just a person. We can't have other shit in common. Maybe you like movies. Maybe I like movies. Maybe you like theater. Maybe I like theater. Maybe you, you, you know what I'm saying? You're a break dancer and I'm a break dancer. Our sexual orientation has nothing to do with everything else that, that we have going on. It's just an aspect of us. It isn't who we are. It's just one particular aspect of who we are. But it isn't everything that consumes us. It isn't, it isn't us in a total package. That's just real fucking narrow-minded, in my opinion. But this fucking no-homo shit that guys like to do, you make yourself look real suspect by saying that. And what's so funny is most of the people who I've heard say this no-homo shit, whenever they looking at a guy or they get caught looking at a guy, and they be like, oh, yeah, you know, he, he, he rocking them shoes or whatever. I'm liking them jeans. No-homo, though. No-homo. I ain't with that faggot shit. Be the same motherfuckers I done heard some real suspect shit about. Somebody saw you downtown during Gay Pride. Hmm. Hmm. You know who you are. But I could have swore you told me you was in Savannah that weekend getting up with some girl who was going to throw you some ass. And then somebody else told me they saw you downtown over there by the Gay Pride float. Hmm. Really? <laughs> but do you? I ain't one to judge. You the one who's judging. Don't matter to me one way or the other. Just stop trying so hard to be something that you're not. You know? That just bothers me. It's real fucked up that y'all try so hard to throw the gay person under the bus, but y'all that undercover brother. Y'all them motherfuckers, and I done seen websites and Craigslist postings and all that shit. Yeah, I got a girl, but I just want me a little something on the side. I've even seen some comments where the guy said, actually, they get excited off of it. The fact that they know that they got a girlfriend, and on the side, they smashing some nigga in the ass, and they girl don't know about it. See, them, them undercover brother-type motherfuckers right there, that's exactly what they are. Y'all need to get y'all shit together. If you got such a problem with gay people, why are you gay? Sounds like you got some self-hatred shit going on that you need to clarify with your God, your family, yourself, whatever. But get it together. That's not cute. So this no homo shit, let it go. If you see a guy and you like how he dressed or you think he's a, a nice-looking guy, it's okay to say he's a nice-looking guy. It ain't like you said, damn, I want to go bend him over. You said he's a nice-looking guy. Women do it all the time. Stop being so uptight. Loosen up. 